Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It is Chris. So today I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind, but I never actually got the opportunity to partake in. Um, it's actually a pretty fundamental thing to the stacking community and a lot of the, the regular stackers are regular faces there. What am I talking about? Going to a coin show. Me? Never been. Never been. Been interested in it even before I was a stacker. I've always kind of been interested in collecting this, that, and the other thing. I like the idea of, you know, like-minded people getting together and, uh, you know, getting getting into something that, that uh, is important to them, something that they like. Um, whether it be baseball cards, stamps, coins, whatever. Like, it's just cool to see, you know, all the different things, how much knowledge there is in, in things like that. Um, but for me personally, never never been able to partake partly because I don't get uh, I'm not informed enough about like where they are when they're going on that kind of thing to make time to go actually see them but there's also something else another bigger reason that I think a lot of people are not uh, ready to admit with the whole coin show thing and that's it and that is that it's it's pretty intimidating like as even as a stacker I mean you know again a stacker not a collector per se but a stacker when you think of when I think about the like going into like the, the coin show, I, I'm thinking that I'm like walking into the lion's den. Here I'm a sheep and these people all know what they have. They know what they want for it. They know, you know, so much. So there's so much knowledge there that uh, that I don't have that, you know, that they do. So I feel like, you know, it's just very intimidating. Now, on the flip side, the other part of me says, well, that's exactly where you want to be, right? There's a bunch of people who want to talk about their stuff and uh, <clears throat> you know, let you know what they have and, you know, what their thoughts are on different things. The problem for me with the coin show is I see it as obviously they're there to make money, right? They're there to sell their stuff, sell their wares, whether it's to like individual buyers or other coin dealers, whatever the case is. And so a lot of what I would expect to be there is people, knowledgeable people talking to other knowledgeable people. So as like a layperson, I can see or I could imagine, you know, the full scenario of different things that are going on there which in my mind would be a people who have no idea what they're doing and they're just you know making a fool of themselves you know uh doing things that are out of the norm at the coin show and like annoying people or you know stepping on coin dealers toes by like making offers on things that uh you know other people are going to buy just you know all kind i can imagine all kinds of things uh you know going on in places like that and I could imagine myself also being timid about, you know, asking questions, kind of just looking at what everybody has and not really wanting to engage, you know, that normal kind of like when you're at the car dealership and you don't, you really don't want the, the sales guys to approach you. You want them to all stand there together, just uh, doing whatever it is they do. But, uh, you know, you can take your time and look at the different cars and kind of, you know, make some informed decisions on your own without having to be sold. Uh, you know, that's the kind of the environment that I imagine it. But I know the reality is much different. I, I mean, I've watched enough coin coin show videos to know that, you know, it seems like a good group of people um, and, uh, you know, that there's a lot to, to learn from being in that kind of environment. Not only that, but also like, uh, especially in this environment, how we've been talking about, you know, making the transition from just buying bullion, what, even if it's high premium, you know, silver or things like that or collectibles, but really to understanding like numismatics, you know, and, and if you're into numismatics or like you're getting into it, you would think a coin show is kind of where you would want to be because those guys know what they're talking about. They, you know, I am sure there are plenty of good people uh, at those coin shows that, uh, you know, are willing to talk to you when they're not busy. But again, as someone who's never, you know, partaken in that type of uh, event, it is an, a bit intimidating. So that being said, I did see a great video and again, my thing is I like to give credit where credit is due because there's so much knowledge in, uh, in this, you know, this stacking community that, uh, you know, you may watch one channel, but, you know, you may not catch this other channel or things like that. And like there may be a really good video that you just don't see. So this particular video that I saw on a different channel was uh, about stacking, uh, I'm sorry, uh, coin show etiquette and like you know the expected behaviors the do's and don'ts of like when you're at the coin show uh and you know I've, I've kind of seen some some videos of like people at the coin show trying to explain it while they're there but i honestly feel like uh, a lot of them don't didn't make me feel comfortable it didn't make me feel like yeah that's you know it still was like uh, i'm not sure that's the environment i want to be in 
Whereas this particular one, the the, the person who was explaining coin show etiquette was really laying down like, you know, this is what you can do. This is what you don't want to do. This is why you don't want to do that. You know, you don't want to be that guy, um, but feel comfortable and, you know, explained what really to expect. He basically like I felt like I was there after he was done explaining it. And I think that's so important, especially to like a lot of you here in California. <clears throat> uh i would say that there's probably a healthy stacking community i mean there's a few big channel good looking channels uh over here uh obviously silver oceans uh a few other uh, different channels like from here in california or dissident aggressors from here in california uh i know there's many more of you but i can't remember off the top of my head so i apologize but um you know here in california we have access to a lot of different things but uh, you know, if, if you're in the greater LA area, so like pretty much everything from Oceanside to Barstow's LA, I mean, you could pretty much just call it LA, even though that's not technically accurate. I mean, it, it, it really is a good rep representation. Although there are parts of that that would be like, we're not LA, we're Orange County or we're the, okay, stop. You're, you're <clears throat> the stepbrother of LA. Anyway, the point is like, there's lots of things that go on, but it's just such a massive area that you know, if you're not near it, you would never know that those kind of things are going on. Um, whereas other places, you know, if you live, uh, you know, on the, on the East Coast or in the Midwest, you know, you hear about something that's a big event, you know, in a, in a town nearby or a city, you know, a, a ways away. But like, I feel like you, you hear about those things more often than you would like here in California because it's just sensory overload. There's too much going on. But uh this particular video was actually from the Potter Stackers, um, and uh, and like I said, like to me, this video really delivered a lot of value because I think, my opinion, again, uh, the thing with sharing your opinion is like you, no matter what you personally think, you end up putting some of your own frames of reference on other people. But I, my opinion is that there are a lot of stackers who are in the same position as me. You know, coin show would probably be pretty intimidating. It's the same thing as like when I walk into the gun store and like, uh, you know, the, the regulars are there talking about the, the ins and outs of, uh, you know, particular weapons or this or that, or blah, blah, blah. And I'm just, or like particular builds of like, you know, different weapons. And, and I'm just sitting there like, hey, can someone help me uh, find a kit for my AR? Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, <laughs> It's pretty funny, but um, you know, those kind of situations just normally as a, I mean, human being, like it's just uh, more difficult. So um, I think there's a lot of value. I'm gonna link that video in the description because I think it's definitely worth the time. It really did deliver a lot of value. It felt made me feel much more comfortable and much more positive about putting myself in that situation and not feeling like, hey, I'm gonna do something where, you know, old man Joe is going to get upset with me because like I did something offensive to the coin community, you know, like, yeah. So I, I felt much better about it. And I think that they did a really good job of explaining like, you know, what to look for and, and what the value for you is as well as a, as a stacker. So, so I think that was a great, a great way to be, but, um, definitely going to link that in the description below. Also, again, my favorite Yankee stacking, I honestly like, like Yankee, we obviously differ in our views, which is fine. Everyone's entitled to that. Uh, but he did have that same guy from uh, the quote unquote worst stacking video ever uh, on his uh, live stream yesterday. Luckily, it didn't get that many live stream viewers. So, uh, yeah, hopefully people weren't subjected to too much of it. But that, that video is out there. Um, but again, it was the same guy who was just hawking the, uh, the precious metals IRA. Oh, would you recommend, uh, you know, people roll their retirement assets into the precious metals IRA? Yes, I would recommend that because la, la, la. stop, stop. Like, I mean, honestly, like even in sales, like, <clears throat> you know how like you get that, uh, that used car salesman who's like, this is the best deal. And this is the best thing you've never heard about. Look at the deal you're getting on this. Like, la, la, la. you know, if you're ever like in a situation where you're being sold, if that person doesn't give you the pros and the cons because it, anything with life it, it, there's no free lunch it doesn't matter what it is there's always something and it may not even be a big deal but at least if the, the person tells you like you know this is why you would want to do this this is the value that it provides for you but these are the things that you want to think about about whether it's right for you if anybody you know comes at you with you know this is absolutely this is good for everyone you need to you know you need to take advantage of this 
especially with with again precious metals like if someone's telling you that gold and silver are going to protect you from anything they sure as heck are not not in price and that's really what the precious metals ira is going to give you the price value because again you cannot take physical delivery unless you're withdrawing from your 401k in which case again that's a taxable event and that's the same thing if, as if you bought it yourself you know from the bullion dealer from the coin shop so you know your bullion being held elsewhere even though technically yes you own physical bullion i mean it's not in your hand so if you're doing it for the shtf scenario or whatever the case is that oh well i have it in my hand no one could take it away from me well who's going to deliver that during shtf is fedex still going to be operating when you you know go to tell them but i bought physical and it's in a it's in a depository in colorado please come deliver it to me uh no they're not so like there are so many different things like that that you know i hate when i see people like just throwing out like crazy things like that and that you know the guy's just telling himself you know yes we are my company i'll be ringing the bell on the uh the nasdaq tomorrow the closing bell because my company you know the company i work with uh, we, you know we did some big deal and blah 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 blah, blah. that's great that's phenomenal but again, like you have a responsibility when you're selling people things to, to, to tell them the good and the bad. I mean, that's just good practice. Does everybody do it? No, but you know, when you see that kind of thing and you're just, you hear this is the one size fits all great thing, run, run the other way because it's, it's that person is garbage. Even if the, the, you know, whatever they're telling you about, you know, has pros and cons that person is just not in it for the client they're in it to make the buck and and just move on and that's what you'll be to them so like with things like that like i said like it, it's nothing against yankee but that particular dude that uh, that he has chosen to associate himself and his videos have become basically a walking commercial at this point two minutes in he's talking about something and then it's all of a sudden let's take this 10 minute commercial for sd bullion all right uh i mean sd bullion's great but um I mean, I can go to their website to watch their commercials if I want. Um, I don't need to, you know, I go to see different things, which is why we watch those channels. Anyway, just thought I'd rant at the end of the video with that. But yes, go ahead and check out this video from the Potter Stackers. Great, uh, great uh, video on the etiquette at coin shows. Again, it, it made me feel comfortable where, you know, I would probably watch that again right before I walked in just to make sure I'm not going to make a, an idiot out of myself. But uh but so that I could feel comfortable and know what's what and, and also get the real value of going. Again, if it was close to me and like it was right, you know, a couple miles away and I could go down, even if it was 10 or 15 miles away, I mean, here in, in LA, that might as well be a different state because to get there, you know, you have to, uh, you have to plan a vacation to get, to get that far with traffic and everything. But, uh, you know, in other states, that's uh, right down the road. So very interesting. Wanted to give credit what credit was due. That was a great video. And uh, take a look at that when you get a chance. Anyway, see you later.